Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And, uh, you know, we got a kind of a, I guess, a special wine today. Um, it recently went to my favorite pizza shop, pizza joint, whatever, in San Antonio here called Florio's. Uh, these people are from uh, New Jersey. I don't remember where in New Jersey, but they're from New Jersey. And um, they, uh, let's do this real quick. Forgot to do one last thing before I... Um, went into the whole story. Anyway, so they've been in San Antonio a while. Let's just put it that way. 25 or more years. They actually, and I don't remember this part, which which I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed. They actually opened up their first pizza shop across, effectively across the street from my high school. But you see, in, when I went to high school, you couldn't leave campus for lunch. And then when I got out, out of school, you know, at, at the end of the day, I came home. I didn't go hang out at the pizza joint or go to the 7-Eleven or whatever. I came home. So, um, uh, anyway, I don't remember the shop being there. But then they moved to another location, and now they're in the current location, which is off of Broadway and, and Bassey. Uh, not actually Bassey Road, but near Broadway and Bassey in San Antonio. Best pizza in, in town, so you got to go. Anyway, so we were there uh, having some pizza, and I just done some wine reviews. So it was like two weeks ago, and uh, I'm sitting looking at the rack because I kind of wanted some wine, but we never really drink wine when we go there. We usually, just drink soft drinks, um, sodas, cokes. And uh, I saw, I decided to go look at the wine, the wine rack they got, and I saw this wine. And it says Florio's Private Re Private Reserve Vino. Bam! There you go. Now, for the viewers at home, or the, the live viewers. All right, so um, non-vintage, by the way, and it was $20, I think. I forgot to put the thing on there. 20 bucks. If it's different, it'll be in the lower third, but I'm pretty sure it's $20. So um, I'm like, well, obviously they didn't make the wine. It's not their wine, but they, they got it from somewhere else, and they do. They got it from uh, a a uh, winery out of Lodi, California, called uh, Weibel, or maybe Weibel, but uh, Weibel Vineyards. Uh, they uh, came here to, um, what should we call it? They came here to the States in the 30s, I believe it was 37, 1937, I think so. Um, they, had, they had made wine in Switzerland, I believe it was, and then they came over here to the United States, California, and started making some wine. And they make a bunch of wine for themselves, but they also do private label like this. They make other, they do other wines for restaurants, hotels, casinos that they have brand, you know, actual other branding on, I guess, you know, their brand. But you can apparently say, hey, I want some wine. This is non-vintage. Now, I do have from their, uh, from their stuff, the 2009 Cabernet Sauvignon, I have their fact sheets. Uh, so it was, comes out of the Redwood Valley, which is part of Mendocino County. So that's where the wine presumably comes from. Just because I would imagine that they're coming from that. But they're out of Lodi. And like I said at the pizza shop, Lodi, California, not Lodi, New Jersey. Anyway. Only if you're from Jersey are you going to get that, I guess. So let's check it out. We get more wood than anything else, so we'll go minerality first rather than a fruit forward wine, at least on the nose. I mean, I guess red fruit, I'm not going to get more specific than that because it's kind of an amalgamation of everything. Ooh, there's a big word right there. I 
But that's about it. I really smell more wood than anything else. So let's, let's see how it tastes. Mm. Got to start the timer. That's why that was on. All right. So at least on the palate, the wood isn't overpowering like it is on the nose. I was getting a little worried about that. Um, it feels a little bit hot. It's only 30% alcohol, so maybe the alcohol needs to be contained a little more. But I get the red fruits. Now I really kind of get that raspberry cherry. Maybe even a little strawberry, but that raspberry and cherry, dark cherry type of flavors. It's really coming out, you know, that's more fruit forward. Uh, the wood is not as not as prominent, so you don't get a lot of wood. Um, I'm back on, huh. Oh, I guess the other people decide not to watch anymore. It's all right. Um, You get a hint of the wood. Alcohol seems to be taming down a little bit. It's like the very first, the very first sip was kind of like oh, it's aerated out, it's settled down. I'm getting, I'm getting more of the fruit, um, a little bit of the wood, uh, just a hint of it. Um, but then they've got the um, um, the tannins are are medium, um, light to medium, medium minus. I think is what the official term is for the psalm test um, low on the tannins this is a wine that you could do with pizza um, you could do with pretty much anything from a pizza shop so whether it's a pizza uh, uh, a calzone a stromboli one of those things you could you could do it pairs it with you know you pair it with the mozzarella you pair it with uh, the ricotta or the ricotta uh, the ricotta and the mozzarella um, you pair it with those types of white cheeses, um, Italian white cheeses. It'll go well with that Parmesan, that type of stuff. It'll go pretty well with that. I know the owner said that they're expecting a Chianti to come. So I don't know if they mean that they're getting a wine that's from Italy that that's like this. Or they're getting a wine from this company that's a Sangiovese. So, and they're just calling it Chianti. But um, they said they're getting a Chianti and I'm really, I'm going to be really... Uh, uh, interested to try that. You know, I, I think it's as, as good as any other $20 restaurant wine you're going to get. Um, I mean, they sold it as they bottle. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if it's retail 20 or restaurant retail 20, but bottom line is, um, you know, 20 bucks is not outrageous for it. It's probably, as far as if I went to a store and bought it, it's probably closer to like a $15 bottle of wine. But for this, I wouldn't be pissed. I'd pay 20 bucks for it if I went to like Specs or HEB or whatever. Um, what I like about it, it's not, it's not the stereotypical big, big, bold Cabernet Sauvignon that's loaded with fruit and vanilla and oak and it's just creamy and it's just like oh it's silky it's it's got a little you know it's got a little more character to it and maybe it's because you know it's from florios and they're sicilian and you know hey forget about it you know i mean i don't know it's um it's you know it's pretty good and the florio i mean they're they're um it's a pretty big name in in sicily seriously like i did some uh it's like som it's like uh Stag. Anyway, I mean, it's like like they have like the. Um, I'll see if I can remember to put the little picture up of the um, of their stuff, and it has like a that Marsala wine, and S O M means something. But they have like at the shop, they've got the little poster of, of the Marsala wine. Um, I forgot what S O M stands for. It's something. It said stag on here somewhere, but um, basically, if you if uh, 
if you happen to be in San Antonio, having me at Florio's Pizza, stop by, say hi, tell them, tell them Mark Fusco said hi. Um, son of Vinny and Maureen, they'll probably know me more like that. Um, buy a bottle. They got a couple other private labels. I forgot what they were. I think there was the Chardonnay and there might have been a Sauvignon Blanc. But um, check it out. It's pretty good. And that's actually their little logo, by the way, that, that logo right there. All right. That's going to do it. I got to get ready for a wine tasting tonight over at Max's Wine Dive. Of course, this is about two weeks after the fact, but I got to get ready for that. Um, I got my business cards recently. I ordered more from Moo. Just got them in today. Got my Elite Wine Cards. With all my information on the back. And uh, let's see what else. I should have finished this by now. This was some good stuff, by the way. You have to watch a couple episodes back to know what it was if you don't remember it. Skull. I mean, come on, dude. A skull. In a freaking flask. So I'm eating your robin egg, too. Well, that goes pretty good. It's chocolate and red wine. It's supposed to. All right, so... um. That's going to do it. Stop by the website. I'll put a link to this winery. So click that. Leave a comment. Have you been to Florio's Pizza? What do you think? I think it's the best pizza in town. Uh, I think it's the best pizza outside of Jersey. So just saying. Um, friend me up above. Hit the donate button. And um, that's going to do it for now. We'll see everyone again next time.